As parts of the state prepare for phase one of a restart, a Cornell professor warns News Channel Line's Nicole Somovilla, your pets may not be on board. If you've been working remotely, your pet has probably gotten used to having you around 24 seven. It's a dog's dream. But when you go back to work, something else may kick in. Separation anxiety. The dog in particular might react by barking for long, <laughs> excuse me, periods of time, scratching at the door, failing to be housebroken. Things no dog owner wants to come home to. The good news, dogs like routine. And Cornell professor Catherine Haupt says there are things you can do now to help ease them into a new one. Going out the door at the time they would usually go to work just for a few minutes and then come back. Teaching them all over again that you'll come back. You have to be careful when you do leave that you don't greet the dog too exuberantly when you get back. And if you do come home to a mess, yelling at your pup might not get you what you want. Because you only have a few seconds. I mean, I like to drop a pencil to say you have that long between the time the dog does something and the time the punishment would be effective. So when you do come back, Haupt suggests greeting them with love. Just wait until they're calm first. Even when you are going to pet him, get him to do something first, just to sit or whatever command he knows. And if your pet's anxiety persists, help says you may want to consult your vet. Some medication may help. Nicole Somavilla, News Channel 9. A lot of dogs in that piece, but even your cats can get separation anxiety post-quarantine. Hop says they're more likely to pace when you're gone or forget they have kitty litter.